Good morning. Welcome to the morning Bible study. If you have the Bible, look at the 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 to 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 to 16 say, I follow, sorry, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. I praise you for remembering me in everything and for holding to the teachings and just as I pass them on to you. Now I want to, to realize that head of every man is Christ and head of the woman is man. The head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesy with his head covered the dishonor his head. And every woman who prays and prophesies with her head uncovered dishonor her head. It is just as it draw her head were saved, shaved. If a woman does not cover her head, she should have her hair cut off. And if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut uh, or shaved off, and she should cover her head. A man ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God. But woman is the glory of a man. For man did not come from woman, but woman from man. Neither was a man created for woman, but woman for man. For this reason, because of the angels, the woman ought to have a sign of authority on her head. In the Lord, however, woman is not independent of man, nor is man independent of woman. For a woman came from man, so also man is born of woman. But everything comes from God. Judge for yourself, is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered? Does not the uh, uh, very nature of things teach you that if a man has a long hair, it is a disgrace to him, but that if a woman has a long hair, it is her glory, for long hair is given to her as a covering. If anyone wants to be uh, contentious, about this, uh, we have no other practice, nor do the Church of God. Today, I would like to share with you, according to John, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Paul challenged and encouraged the Corinthian Christian, follow my example, imitate me as I imitate Lord Jesus Christ. And, um, and after that, he speak about the man and woman. And Paul say, the head of woman is a man, head of man is a Christ, head of Christ is the Almighty God. And then he say, the woman come from man. Do you understand woman come from man? Because God made Eve from the Adam's ribs. And the woman come from man. But actually man come from woman. Therefore everything, you know, from Almighty God. Therefore, you know, everything comes from God. Therefore, don't be proud yeah, to be a man or to be a woman. We have to humble ourselves before the Almighty God. And according to the scripture, he speaks about the woman. Woman shaved, uh, shaved off, is a bald, is uh, ungraceful. And even man has got the long hair, is ungraceful. But in these days, many, many musicians or artists, men, they have the long hair. But even the woman, they shave the head. Of course, uh, when they have uh, you know, cancer, they have some kind of uh, chemo uh, uh, therapy, and they lose the hair, and then, you know, unfortunately, woman or man, they lose the hair. But I don't talk about these things. I, I believe that this is a wonderful, wonderful encouragement. The woman have long hair is beautiful, beautiful. And then, of course, there is uh, another uh, the scripture what Paul say: woman does not, does not cover her head, she should uh, have her hair cut off. And if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut or shaved off, she should cover her head. And then I know that some church in, in UK, UKG, they, you know, they cover their, uh, their, um, their, the woman cover their hair. It's nothing wrong, but in, in Africa, some, some church, every woman must cover their hair according to the scripture. 
Uh, I believe that um, the woman cover the hair or not cover the hair, uh, we have free in Christ Jesus. And um, you don't need to argue about the, these things. Even in, in this day, some people have the long hair, especially for men. Uh, for me, to have long hair is uncomfortable for me. Of course, some people they have little long hair and then little more long hair. We know that, but it's, it's up to them. I don't, you know, against them, but it's up to them. But according to the scripture, I conclude. Con my conclusion is uh, one Corinthians chapter eleven verse one: Follow my example, as I follow the example of Christ. I know Pastor Dinasis and Pastor Badolomia, you are a mighty man of God in India, in Africa, you know, you know, churches in Chandigarh and Punjab area, churches in Kisumu in East Africa, Kenya. We thank you to God. You know, even name of church is Kisumu Shepherd Church and uh, yes, the Shepherd Church in, in, in Chandigarh. Uh, you know, I knew my brothers, uh, sisters for a long, long time, even 20 years or 25 years. And then I can encourage my dear brothers, sisters, uh, you can imitate me, follow my example as I follow the example of Lord Jesus Christ. You know, within two weeks, uh, within actually within 10 days, I read the Bible two times already. But now I and my wife read the uh, uh, New Testament. Uh, you know, my current finished by Wednesday. Today is Monday. Another two more days. I love to read the uh, New Testament at least uh, two times. And only by the grace of God, not by myself, not by my power, not by my you know, strength. No, nothing. I don't talk about the myself. I talk about the, the power of God, the grace of God. By the grace of God, I meditate the word of God day and night in, in, uh, at the prayer mountain. And then I encourage you, follow my example as I follow the example of Lord Jesus Christ. And then I can share the one testimony. Um, Pastor uh, Richard, Richard Lembrandt, Pastor Richard Lembrandt, he was pastor in Yugoslavia. Uh, he is a Messianic Jew minister. He is a Jew, but he's a pastor in, in I think, in, sorry, in Romania. And then when he was in there, in, in Romania, Romania used to be a communist country. When he was in there, he ended up in prison because he preached the gospel. Do you know how long he stayed in the prison? For four years, 14 years, 14 years. He stayed in the prison for 14 years. But he preached the gospel in day and the night in the prison. Terrible persecution, terrible hardship in prison. And then one day, one prisoner asked Pastor Richard, Pastor Richard, you preach to uh, Jesus all the times. Can you tell us, can you tell me what you look like your Jesus? And Pastor Richard then closed his eyes and he's opened his eyes. Do you know what he said to him? Jesus is look like me. <laughs> When this Pastor Richard Lambrand spoke to this prisoner, Jesus looked like me. And this prisoner, think about that, and he said to Pastor Richard, if Jesus looked like you, I love to believe in, in your Jesus. I love to believe in your Jesus. Can you imagine the prisoner, he saw the image of Jesus in Pastor Richard's life. And I challenge my uh, congregation in London Shepherd Church. I challenge all our branch pastors in all of the world. Follow my example. <laughs> Jesus is look like me. Would you like to believe in the Lord Jesus? And then follow Jesus. Yeah, if you say to your family and your friend, uh, would you like to believe in the Lord Jesus? Jesus look like me. If your friend, your family say to you, if Jesus look like you, I never ever want to believe in the Lord Jesus. I think you need to repent of the sins. Many people say, I love Jesus, but I don't like a Christian. <laughs> what people say. Do you understand? Christian means Christ likeness. You should have the image of Jesus. But unfortunately, oh, many, many Christians will lose the image of Lord Jesus. But if I say, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. What does it mean? I have been crucified with Christ Jesus. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. That is why Paul said, uh, follow my example as you follow the example of Christ.
Can you follow my example as I follow the example of Christ Jesus? Imitate me as I imitate Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, I thank you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, my brothers, sisters, Lord, would you bless them, touch them, encourage them. They will follow Jesus all the days of their life. And they can encourage their family, their congregation, and their friend, anybody. If they can say to them, um, follow my example, as I follow the example of Lord Jesus. Father, help us to grow like Jesus. And we will be a true Christian. We are a follower of Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And you are a wonderful man and woman of God. And as you follow Jesus, I believe that your family, your congregation, your friend, anybody who knows you, they will follow your example as you follow the example of Lord Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.